All right, it's Friday morning and we are packing up. We're about to load up the, the bikes and head out. This is like the big red Pegolin, you know, because the 650 is the big red thing. I'm pretty sure we're gonna see this bike just dominate the trails. Then, you know, I can tow you up some hills if there's a, you know, if it's a little too steep or something. So this is oil here? I thought it was iced tea. No, no. Tell me again drink. why you're bringing oil? that I ride they're pretty simple so I I get to pick the the fun line you know the harder line but on this bike it's like I gotta take the smooth path everywhere but it's pretty fun in these sweeping corners uh oh <laughs> here we go how's it doing so far it's actually pretty fun on these on these loose trails that there's not too much chop it's doing really well it likes the smooth stuff it's, uh, it's not that bad. I think the problem is going to be when I start having bigger drops and having to deal with the rebound and stuff like that because yeah. it's basically a pogo stick with like two inches of suspension travel. Back up the mountain we go. Yeah, the air feels so good. I know we're on double track, but this is a good trail for this bike. It's no secret this thing's not going to take serious hard enduro stuff it's just not gonna um but there's some pretty techy stuff on these double tracks uh, every now and then you know like that you had the option for the more jagged lines back there so i think overall the spike's doing really well and it's it's <laughs> this is exactly what you would expect it to do oh yeah yeah <laughs> no rear brake. Oh my gosh. No rear brake. No rear brake. This is not the kind of stuff. Oh. Oh, I didn't plan that line out. Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's dying. She's dying. She's... <laughs> no! No! Uh-oh. I think she's dead, Jim. Really? Uh-oh. Oh! No, she's a Honda. Hondas don't die. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I don't know what the deal with it dying a second ago was. I really hope that that doesn't come back. <laughs> oh, mama. <laughs> Ow. God, that hurt really bad. Immediately, I hit a rock and the front suspension bottomed out and just like, like I felt the shock in my hand so hard. Oh, ho, ho. what? Oh, I bottomed it out. <laughs> Oh yeah, XR ate that. Oh man, 
man, I lugged that up. Oh, I was in third gear. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, that's scary with bald tires. <laughs> oh, and it just dies. <laughs> Yeah, I just drove it through that at like 20 miles an hour. That's nice. Hey, you ready for some single track? Let's go, yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> oh! Losing power. So I just tried to flag down my dad to shoot some video here and uh, he didn't see me. So now I've got to catch him. <laughs> got to catch him on the old XR. Let's get him boys. <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah, we got a good old fashioned race here. <laughs> no! I see him at least, that's good. Oh! You don't want to go. <laughs> oh man, I want to try that. <laughs> yeah, let's try it. If it bogs on me, I'm done. I'll throw the bike. Good old girl did it. I am leaking gas though at a decent clip. It's like 102 degrees out. And I think we're both pretty wiped out. We're ready to get to the truck. The bike is also crying a little bit. It's uh, ever since I, I dumped it earlier, it's developed this leak. Whoever had this and decided to glue the fuel valve on here was just a brilliant person. That really seemed to work. So 
I commend you for coming up with that kind of just revolutionary engineering. Time to keep trucking. First kick, baby. Oh, the air feels so good. All these whoops. It's 9 a.m. Saturday. Do you know where your kids are? Hopefully they're not out buying motorcycles. Like I said, it's 9 a.m. Saturday and I just sold the bike. It was remarkably easy. I listed it right after we rode tomorrow. Oh, uh, <laughs> so after we got home yesterday from riding, I went and listed it on Facebook Marketplace. And lo and behold, it, it sold today at 8 a.m. Overall, I hope that this showed you something and that's that you don't need a crazy expensive bike to get the job done. Now sure, you might not want the turd that we had, frankly, but it doesn't take much to get something that'll just take you out and, and give you a good time. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this and if you did, please consider hitting like and subscribe. It truly helps me out. It's the reason I can keep making videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.